Hey Unity game devs, today I want to show you how to get started with debugging Unity projects and the free development environment Visual Studio. If you haven't installed Visual Studio 2019 while installing Unity, you can get it from this page, just download the free Community Edition. During the installation process or by choosing Modify in the Visual Studio installer afterwards, you have to install the component Game Development with Unity. This includes the Visual Studio tools for Unity that integrate nicely into your IDE into Visual Studio and this is all you need. Ok, let's have a look at this Unity 2020 project to have a real world example. You have a panel here in the HUD in the canvas that has an animator component attached to expand this panel. An animated open and close. When this button is pressed, the animation is played and a C-sharp script is used panel opener to get the animator and control the animation. This is done in a method called open panel that I want to use to show you the debugger in Visual Studio. Ok, but why to debug? There has to be a bug, right? Ok, let's start it and see what happens. Ok, we get a message here, an error, which is basically clear for Unity developers, but I want to use this to show you how you can analyze this in the debugger. There's an exception, obviously a panel is not assigned. So let's open the script in Visual Studio. Ok, here we have it, panel opener derived from mono behavior, it's a very simple script. And there are no error checks, which is bad coding, but it's good for demonstration. So let's see, first I add a breakpoint at this line. A breakpoint means that the debugger is halting the execution of the program at this point so that you can analyze the program flow, the variables or the memory. To be able to do this I have to attach the debugger to the Unity process and this can be done by pressing this button, attach to Unity that comes with the Visual Studio tools for Unity. Then I go back to the Unity editor and start the game, press the button and the program, the script is halted at this breakpoint. And now we can see what's going on. Let's hover over the panel and you see that this is null, ok? It means it is not assigned. If an object is null, you can't work with it. There's no memory, it is null, there's nothing and when you try to access it, for example by calling the method getComponent, you get a null reference exception. You can also analyze this here in the watch panel and you see it is declared as a game object but it has no valid members. This is how it looks like when you have an object that is null, that is not assigned. Ok, but in practice what does it mean? We have to assign it in the inspector. It's a public variable and we just have to drag the panel to this slot. Ok, let's try again with this fix, again with the debugger attached, but I want to show you a different option. And this is attached to Unity and play. This means the debugger will be attached to the Unity process and the game is started so that we don't have to switch to the editor and press the start button. Quite useful when you do this often. Ok, now I press the button and again we stop at the breakpoint. And now press the F10 key so that we can step through the lines of code while the script is running. And this seems to work, we don't get an exception, the code is executed. So let's see if the panel is opening. I switch to the game view, but instead of the panel being opened we get a warning animator is not playing an animator controller. Well, what does it mean? When you are an experienced Unity developer you know that this means that there is no runtime animator controller assigned, but let's have a look at the variable animator to see what is missing. Ok, the animator is not null, we get the component from the panel. So let's have a look at the members here in the debugger to see if there is something strange. No, but actually yes, the runtime animator controller is null. It is not assigned. This means we have to assign a runtime animator controller, so let's go back to the Unity editor and do this. I select the panel and here we have it, no runtime animator controller. You can see this in the inspector. So let's assign it the menu animator and start the game again. The breakpoint is hit, we are still attached and now the animator has a valid runtime animator controller attached. 
so I remove the breakpoint and press F5 so that we can continue running the game. And now we have a working panel opening and closing. Great. But we should add some code to make the script a bit more solid. There are different techniques. We can add if statements to check if the components or the game objects are null references. But you can also use so-called assertions to assure that your objects are valid, that they are not null, that they are assigned. For this you can write debug assert and then check your object to be not null. And for the case that your object is null, you can define a text that is printed to the console as an error in your editor. And you define the text so you as a developer know what this text means and what the solution will be. In these cases, the assertions tell you that you forgot to assign a component in the editor. Okay, in the end, let me show you how this looks like. I again remove the animator controller so that the error occurs. Then I start the game, press the button, and here we can see the error caused by the assertion in the console. And then you know, oh man, I forgot to assign the runtime animator controller. Okay guys, that's what I wanted to show. I hope it was understandable and you learned something about the debugger. If you like my channel, then don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, add these to the comments. Follow me on my Instagram, Twitter or Facebook. And I'll see you in the next one.